Make sure you have your red pen ready to make corrections. A ball is kicked through the air from a level playing field. The path of the ball can be modelled by the equation y equals x minus 0.04x squared, where x is the horizontal distance in metres and y is the vertical height in metres from the point where it is kicked. Part A finds the horizontal distance travelled by the ball from the point where it is kicked, which is here, to the point where it lands, which is here. At both of those points, we know that y is 0. So I can take my equation and make y 0. Which gives us this quadratic equation to solve. To solve that, I'm going to factorise x outside. And so I can now say that either the x is 0 from here, or I can say from here that 1 minus 0.04x is equal to 0, which would mean that 1 is equal to 0.04x. So x is equal to 1 divided by 0.04 which gives 25. So this point here, we know x is 0. This point here, we know that x is 25. So we uh, know that it has travelled 25 metres horizontally. So that's part A. Part B, we need to show that the equation, this equation here, can be written in this form. So it's asking us to complete the square. First thing I'm going to do is rewrite the equation with the minus 0.04x squared at the front. I'm then going to factorise the minus 0.04 outside so that I now just have the x squared term with a coefficient of 1. So just being super careful with your factorising. This times this gives me this. And then this times this gives me this. Right. I'm now just going to copy down that coefficient at the front and those square brackets. And I'm going to do completing the square on this x squared minus 25x. So I'm going to half the 25. And then I'm going to subtract 25 over 2, all squared, which is 625 over we're now going to multiply out these brackets. So I'm going to have the minus 0 0.04 multiplied by this. And then we've also got that minus 0 0.04 multiplied by the minus... 625 over 4, which gives a positive 6.25. And there we go. I have written it in the desired form, where the A is the minus 0 0.04, the B is the 25 over 2, and the C is the 6.25. So that is my answer to part B. And then finally in part C, it says to use our answer from part B to find the maximum height. So we need to find the maximum height. And we also need to find the horizontal distance where the maximum height occurs. So we need to find the maximum height and the horizontal distance. 
Well, the maximum height I know is going to be the 6.25 meters. And I know that that is going to take place when X is equal to the 25 over two or 12.5. And there we go. That is how you answer that question. So make sure you have copied down all of those notes. Press pause if you need to, because I'm going to change the screen now. Here is a question for you to do, so press pause, have a go at this question. And when you're ready, press play, because I'm going to show you the answers. In three, two, one. 